few days ago, I decided to drive my MG477 electric hatchback to the new Raymond Terrace Tesla superchargers to try them out and see if my car was compatible with Tesla superchargers, which it should be. So I plugged my car into the supercharger cable and started the charging session on the Tesla app, which I've done plenty of times before on long road trips through Victoria and South Australia and New South Wales. That part's easy. And it was the same as before. But then something else happened when I stopped the charging session, which was different to before. As you can see in these screenshots of my previous Tesla supercharging sessions, Tesla used to round down the number of kilowatt hours delivered to your car to the nearest whole number and then charge you based on that rounded down number. Now what they do instead, as you can see in my more recent supercharging session a few days ago, is charge you the exact amount that you used for the exact number of kilowatts were that were sent to your car, which is quite fair. And what they should have been doing in the first place, it should result in a tiny bit more revenue per charging session, which adds up to lots more revenue overall that can be used to install more superchargers. Are you a fan of Tesla superchargers? I am because they are the most reliable and fastest Australian charging network, especially on long road trips.